in in my opinion, and I am incredibly biased to the Warble, um, and not because I breed them. I breed them because I'm biased to the Warble. Um, in my opinion, all dogs bring joy. I mean, unconditional love and joy. The difference is I can explain it. The best way I can explain it is most dogs come up to you and they're like, bring me a toy, you know, throw me a toy, make me happy, give me a treat, make me happy. Borbles come up to you and they sit on your foot so that you can't get away. And they look at you with those orangey eyes and that soul sucking stare. And they look at you like, what can I do to make you happy? Can I sit closer? Can I get on your lap? Can I give you kisses? Can I, I mean, what can I do? They never leave your side when you're sick. I mean, never. And that's, it's it's not something that is trained into a dog. It is part of their characteristic. Natalie with Leontix Borbles, and as promised, um, I'm finally getting around to filming a video about taping puppy ears. Now, why this is really, really important is sometimes during the teething process, the ears will change. The fold along the top will become imperfect, or even worse, they get what I call the flying nun ears, where they flip back and they're open. Now, some people will say, oh, but it's so cute, and that's the way God made them. The problem with not fixing the ears is that that's gonna be an invitation for bacteria and yeast and ear infections. And you're gonna fight that for the rest of your dog's life. So proper ear placement is not only important aesthetically so that they are more like breed standard, but it's also an important health thing to do. So while a puppy is teething, so starting around eight weeks um, all the way to six months, you may see ear changes. You may not. You may tape ears one time and it's gonna be fixed you may have to tape ears off and on for the entire time your puppy's going through the teething stages. It's just gonna depend on the dog himself or herself. So this little puppy here is Ragnar, my very handsome little volunteer today. And his ears are not horrible, but he does have a weak fold back here. So this part of the ear here has started to fold back and it's starting to open up. And we don't wanna see that. The other ear is, is pretty good, but we're gonna go ahead and tape them both for consistency. So there's two types of um, ways to tape an ear. There's the taco technique. The taco technique is used to protect the top fold. So that's what Ragnar needs here. So we want to improve the back fold. And to do that, we're gonna fold the ear like a taco, fur to fur, making sure this back crease is nice and strong, and we're gonna tape it. The helmet technique is for the flyaway ears, the flying nun ears and that wraps the ears underneath the chin to keep them placing forward. I often will do both at the same time. I'm a big believer in more is sometimes better, um, and I wanna get them fixed as fast as possible. Um, sometimes it'll take one treatment, sometimes you're gonna do this off and on. So the first step is to clean the inside of the ear where the tape is gonna go. Um, I just use a little alcohol swab. Um, this is gonna help the tape stick better. The better it sticks, the less um, likely you're gonna have to redo this every day. Um, this is a big puppy. He is already um, almost five months old. So we are going to use stronger tape than I would normally recommend. Normally a nice medical tape would be sufficient. We're going big. We're going with duct tape. Now some dogs may have a reaction on the inside of their ear um, to the adhesive, but um, that can be easily treated with a little neosporin when you take the tape off. So we're gonna fix, we're gonna start with the taco. We're gonna fix the top line of the fold we're going to crease the ear like a taco and then simply take the tape and I took a standard piece of duct tape and then cut it in half so that it's thinner. Crease the tape, fold it tight. Now notice we bribed him <laughs> with um, a stick to chew on. Um, this is often the best way to get a dog to sit still, and it's also a really good way to distract them right afterwards. Um, he's going to not like this, no dog is. Um, so if you can just distract him for a little bit, they forget it's there, and then next thing you know, it, it's on. Now ideally, you would keep this on for five to seven days if you can. Um, sometimes that's just not possible. Sometimes they are going to, especially if you have siblings, 
or you know another dog that he's playing with all the time, they're going to shake it off or chew it off. So this is these nice little ponytails are now tacoed, and we would leave them, see how they look. Five to seven days, we'll take the tape off, see how they're sitting. We may never have to do it again. If they go back to a, a, a off fold, then we're going to repeat it. I'm going to go ahead and show you the technique for the helmet as well, just so you have it. On the helmet, you would take a piece of tape and you're going to make a little tab on the end of the ear. So you just simply stick the tape on the inside and on the outside and make a little tiny tape tab, just like that. So we're gonna do that to both ears. Although, like I said, this puppy, his ears are setting pretty good when it comes to um, folding forward. We're just trying to fix that top fold. So now they have a little tab of tape on the end. I took another piece of tape. It's about eight inches long. I took, cut it in half again to make it an inch. And then I took a piece of duct tape to cover this part here so it's not sticky. That's the part that's gonna sit under his chin. So you're gonna take this tab, stick it as tight as you can to the bottom tab, and then you're gonna pull it. Not super tight, you don't wanna hurt him, but you definitely want them to stay underneath his chin as much as possible. So you pull the tape underneath, come up here, and you can even take the tape all the way up to the top part if you'd like. Squeeze it on really good. It's nice and loose. Let's see if we can get him to show you. <laughs> Look over here. So this is the helmet. Now, I know it looks goofy. You're gonna take some pictures, you're gonna laugh, and but this is really gonna help. So this is what it should look like if you're tacoing and helmeting at the same time. So, five to seven days, we'll take this off. We'll see what the ears look like. Hopefully they're fixed and we never have to do it again. But remember, what you have by six months is what you're gonna have for life. So definitely pay attention to your puppy's ears. If they go astray for a couple of days or they go astray when they're distracted or go astray when they're you know, shy or insecure or scared as they knew, that's okay. It's normal for dogs to put their ears back in an emotional state. But if they stay back or stay off-sided for more than a day or two, then that's when you need to start thinking about taping them tape them and see if we can get it fixed. If you guys have questions, please feel free to reach out. Hope this helps.